Blossom was a pretty bubbly teenager. What? <laughs> I was a more kind of cynical, dark teenager, just because that was my prerogative. People would often say, why aren't you smiling? Why aren't you dancing? Well, not a television character. Like most real females, I wasn't one thing. I was a lot of different things. I can also rub my tummy, pat my head, and sing, best you is my woman now at the same time. <laughs> As a kid, I was fascinated with concepts of science, but never felt I was cut out for it. I thought of science as hard, and I assumed that there was something about me that wasn't made for it. When I was working on Blossom, I had a biology tutor. Her name was Firaze, and it was her that showed me that science is for women, science is exciting, you can be as passionate and in love with science as you can be about literature or art. She taught the cell as if it was Picasso's most famous painting. And I began to really actually picture myself as a scientist. George! When Blossom ended, I went to UCLA and I fell in love with the neuron my first semester. The thing that was most interesting to me was the electrophysiology, the voltage jumps, the refractory period. My plan when I was in graduate school was to be a research professor, but I was drawn to teaching. I love teaching science, and that's still something I love doing. But I also love acting, making people laugh, and being someone else, and drawing emotion out of people. I don't think there's anything particularly spectacular about me that I have both acting interest and science interest. To me, that's just who I am. You want some coffee liqueur on your ice cream? Ah, here's the alcohol and drug peer pressure mother warned me about. <laughs> yes, please. Amy Farrah Fowler is the character I play on Big Bang Theory. I can't say that she's the portrait of every woman in science, but she's the portrait of a lot of women in science, I know. Women in science don't have to be frumpy. The Bernadette character really balances out the Amy character. We're showing different kinds of females who are scientists. You know, women can be anything. Fair! <laughs> At my audition, Bill Prady looked at my resume and under miscellany, it said PhD in neuroscience. And he said, is this for real? And I said, yeah. They figured why not make her a neurobiologist because I can answer things <laughs> if there's any question. I have been called upon for specific neuroscience things for my character. They wanted Amy dissecting brains. Yay, brain tumor. <laughs> and the question came to me, uh, how do you store them? And I said, well, garbage can full of brains in formaldehyde is how it's done in, uh, in neuroanatomy. And so we have a clear garbage can type structure filled with fluid and fake brains. Compared to the real world applications of neurobiology, theoretical physics is what's the word I'm looking for. Hmm, cute. When Sheldon and Amy fight on Big Bang Theory about which is you know, the better science, I absolutely agree with Amy Farrah Fowler. Neuroscience is the science of how you think about which is the better science. Are you suggesting the work of a neurobiologist like Babinski could ever rise to the significance of a physicist like Clark Maxwell or Dirac? Babinski eats Dirac for breakfast and defecates Clark Maxwell. I love a show that has a physics consultant. I love a show that, you know, has accurate equations on the board. If you like boards, this is my board. I love a show about the world of science because it really does accurately show um, what a lot of our life is like. You know, I had professors when I was an undergraduate that said, why are you here? If you could have the world of acting, why wouldn't you take it? Being a scientist is as exciting, creative, and interesting as being an artist. Looking at the sunset, I love that my brain goes to color, wavelength, rotation of the earth, why the horizon disappears, why it looks different. That's just how I see the world, and I love it. It's like being in love with every aspect of the universe. Did that sound geeky enough? <laughs> Sorry.